YouTube, you are watching Boxing Talk with Shaka Waka. Just wanted to give a big shout out to 78 Sports TV. I, I did listen to his uh, interview with Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder this morning. Salute to uh, Deontay the Champ. Man, I was just reflecting on, man, I was just thinking like when I put my first video coming into the community and I was talking about, you know, arguing with an AJ fan, you know, well, they wanted to argue with me about why Deontay wasn't suitable to face AJ next, you know what I'm saying? Why he wasn't a good candidate to face AJ. And it wasn't because of his skill sets or nothing like that. It was because that he doesn't have a good fan base out here. But all I want to say to that fool, hey, what you got to say now, bruh? <laughs> like, for real. What can you say now? Everything that you guys were saying some months ago has been squashed, okay? All this, all this, he has no fan base. He's not known in boxing. Nobody knows him outside of America. Look at your people. Look at the people in the UK. They love him. What can you say now? That thing is just thrown out the window. I don't want to hear anything about that, man. You can't you can't deny that he gets love wherever he goes. You know, and it's a beautiful thing, man. For just from just after a month or I've been on this channel. Like it's only been a month and a half. And shit done turned all the way around. All the way around. And there was things like because AJ sells out his fights and sells out 90,000 people and shit. Ain't nobody buying for Pavekin. Ain't nobody buying the tickets, man. So throw that one out the damn window. Then there was that 50, that, that $50 million wasn't real. But now Eddie Hearn just confirmed that it's real. What can you say now? I don't want to hear shit about how Tyson Fury been on the layoff or any of that. I AJ ain't beat him. Ain't nobody beat him. Okay? So I don't want to hear shit about Tyson Fury having a layoff. That dude had two tune-up fights. He good. He know he good. It's just crazy how things just turn around so fast. You know, the real always come to the light. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All those bum ass excuses. You know, this shit is crazy. Well, it's just funny now, looking at it now. And salute to Deontay Wilder, man. And Tyson Fury for getting this fight on the road, man. And if you can't see what's going on right now, if you can't see that Eddie Hearn and AJ's been playing everybody for a fool, then you the fool. That's all I can say. Yeah, man, that's just all I wanted to say because I, I, I just think it's crazy how shit just, just turned around so fast. And I couldn't even be, you know, and I can't, you can't be mad at Deontay Wilder right now. You cannot, man. This, this, is, this is good. Anybody out there hating still? Man, something wrong with them mentally. For real. They just don't want to face the truth. But man, I also want to say I'm grateful to all my subscribers. I just hit 100 subscribers this morning. And I want to say thank you to everybody who watched my videos, who like my videos and comment. I know 100 might not seem, you know, much to these big channels out here but it means a lot to me you know i wasn't sure how this thing was gonna go i wasn't expecting you know a hundred in a month but i'm grateful and i'm glad to come on here and talk boxing with y'all the ldbc man I, I, i'm grateful for what's going on in my life right now i'm at a good point in my life and i just want to thank y'all but uh let me know what you guys think in the comments about this whole turnaround with the whole AJ and Wilder situation. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to the LDBC. Peace.